Hey guys, so today's video is not going to be so much about a hair video, but it is still connected to my hair. I'm going to talk about dealing with anemia and early satiety or satiety, however you pronounce it. <laughs> but um, first we're going to talk about dealing with anemia. So if some people don't know what anemia is or is someone who is anemic, what it means, it means that you have low levels of iron in your blood. And basically, we all know you need blood and you need iron to function. So what happened is, um, I've been dealing with anemia for years. Um, and I will say I've been negligent. Um, I started work like my dream job, my career, uh, two years ago or three years ago. And I got so caught up with work that I was not taking care of myself the way I should be taking care of myself. So no, I was not taking any iron supplement. I was rarely taking vitamin supplements. So long story short, I was low on vitamins and on iron. And what causes for me it is different for everyone but what causes my iron deficiency is uh when it's that time you know of the month my flow is too heavy so because my flow is so heavy i lose too much blood and then thus i need some kind of way to replace that blood to replace the iron um, and I haven't been doing that. I, I noticed that it was like, there was a problem when my hair started shedding and I'm like, well, no, this is my baby. <laughs> so when my hair started shedding, like not small shedding, trust me, like wash day, I'll have like balls of hair, like. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Is it stress? Um, but then I was so tired. Like, I can start tracking around end of September last year. I was so tired all the time. And I'm thinking maybe I'm tired because it's work. Um, my line of job, my line of work, those of us who do what I do, I'm a school psychologist, it can get really stressful. So um, I'm thinking, is it stress from work? I mean, I love what I do, but am I really stressed out and I don't realize it? Because I'd be so tired, like getting out of bed is a drag and getting through the day of work is a drag. So I'm like, what is going on? Got through work every day, tired as hell, don't want to go out with anybody, don't want to do anything, but just literally I would wake up in the morning to go to work and all I could think about is coming back home to go to bed. Um, and once I get to get home, I go to sleep weekends. I sleep, but I didn't notice how bad it was until vacation started. I don't work during the summers when the kids are out, I'm out. Um, I took a trip to Paris and for that week in Paris, I was sleepy most of the time. I'm like, why am I still so tired and so sleepy? I'm not working. And, um, I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's a time difference because Paris and New York is like, I think, a six-hour difference. So I'm thinking maybe it's jet lag. I come back to New York and I'm still exhausted. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking tired of being tired. Um, So because I was tired of being tired, I'm like, something has got to give. I literally came back from Paris, you guys, and spent one whole week at home i did not step outside i could not get up to move my car i live in a city so you have to you know alternate street side parking whatever this car was just collecting tickets i could not get up to do anything i was just sleeping away and when it's that time of the month my exhaustion is worse you guys it's like literally i wanted to cry myself to sleep because i was so tired of being tired then finally, I said, you know what? I need to go to the doctor and find out what's going on. Went to the doctor, up and down. They did all these other testings and stuff like that. Lo and behold, iron deficiency, anemia. 
And, um, and of course, they did all these other testings to make sure that, you know, everything was going on with the female reproductive system. Um, to see, like, why are my flows so heavy and why they last so long. Because my flows, I'm not going to kid you, will last two weeks. That's not normal. Any female who is that time of the month for you, most females that I know, they'll say theirs is like two to four days. For me, normal from the time I went through puberty at the age of 11 was always seven days when it's normal. When it's not normal, it will be two weeks. And that's usually when the seasons change. My body is just crazy. When the season change, it'll be two weeks. Um, if I'm extremely stressed, the longest it ever came was a month and a half. And it's not normal, you guys. I'm, I'm doing this video just to put out there. As women, we gotta know our body and not, you know, neglect it or just whatever when we notice certain things that are not normal. So, um, right before I went to the doctor, my flow was done. And it was on for 16 days. Okay, not spots here and there, full time overnight pads. That's how bad it was. And for me, it's like ugh, another round of this, right? Um, so I went to the doctor, they found out what it was, and they put me on iron supplements. I've tried iron supplements. The pill, Lord have mercy. When I say it can tear up your stomach stomach hurts you feel nauseous you can become constipated it's, it it jacks up your stomach and i already have another condition called early satiety which i'm going to get into but just a snippet of it it's a stomach condition literally i will get full after two bites of food just two bites i'm full and it's annoying, it's frustrating, because I can't eat full meals. And you have to eat your full meals to get all your nutrients and all your vitamins and all that stuff. But I can't eat full meals because of my stomach condition. I will get into more about it later on. Um, so, already dealing with having a stomach that is very sensitive and taking some like meds that's supposed to help me, like a iron supplement that's supposed to help me with my anemia but it's jacking up my stomach not happening um when i went to the gynecologist the woman that i met the gynecologist she said you know what the sub the the tablets usually mess up people's stomach when they're taking iron you know supplements and she told me to take some a liquid iron supplement you guys i kid you not when I started taking this liquid supplement, those who follow me on Instagram, y'all be seeing my stories lately. I've been going out like I have my energy back. I'm not as tired as I used to be. I like I can do so much more and I became so happy because it's it's a bit depressing when you're always exhausted. You you can never do anything. Like I'll sleep ten hours a night and I'm still exhausted. So started taking the iron supplement and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. It's called, oh, don't mind, it's all like dirty. It's, it gets dirty, whatever. And it's wet and stuff because it's in the fridge. But it's called Floridix. I don't know if you guys can see. It's called Floridix and it's, I'm supposed to take According to the directions, it's what, 10 ml twice per day. So that's about 20 ml a day. And because iron is hard for your body to absorb, with, it's pretty hard to absorb. I have to take it with vitamin C. I didn't want to take too much meds. I don't like taking a whole bunch of medication. So what's the next best thing? Orange juice. There goes my vitamin C. So I've been drinking a lot of orange juice. But once again, I do have a stomach condition, you know, so too much orange juice is not my best friend, acid. So I also take a multivitamin, which also have vitamin C. Yep. 
This is Vitafusion Women's. Don't know if you can see it. But I also have been taking this. You take, it's the chewy, sweet, you know, those little gummies. It's not candy, so don't get too comfortable and start eating it like it's candy. You just take two a day. For me, it's not a big deal because I don't like sweet stuff, so. And those are the two things I've been taking for the past two weeks. Enter my third week. And by day three, oh, I was elated. Elated. Like, oh my gosh. So, <laughs> I had to show you guys what I've been dealing with. So, um, part of dealing with anemia, if your iron is too low, you know, carrying energy throughout your body, your body always goes into survival mode, right? So, if I don't have enough iron in my blood and I need that energy, my blood needs that energy, It, um, what it does, what your body does, it carries the energy to the most important parts of your body, like your major organs, your heart and whatnot. And because your hair is not that important, it's not carrying all of the energy and supplements and what all that good stuff to the hair. So the hair starts to die and starts to shed. And that's how I started losing my hair. And I'm like, no, I can't go bald. I love my hair. Yeah. <laughs> so, with the mixture of trying to figure out what to do to get my hair back to health, because once again, I started the vitamin um, the iron supplements about two weeks ago from the month of June, because I didn't know what was going on with my hair, what was going on with my body. I started to do protective styles and I did the throwback, throwback, the Haitian throwback of Haitian castor oil, pure Haitian castor oil. It does not smell good. If anyone's Haitian, don't know, let you know. Lune Mascuti does not smell good and it's heavy oil but I know it's good for hair health and strength. So I say, you know what? Until I know what's going on with my hair, I'm not losing my strands. And I immediately started to wash my hair, condition, deep condition, weekly, deep condition. And I did not do the cream because um, of the LOC, like it, the, the method, the lock method. I did not do a C. I didn't use a cream because castor oil is so heavy and I'm not about to style my hair. I'm about to braid it and throw a wig on it. So that's what I did. I washed my hair, deep condition, and then I put leave-in conditioner and then the Haitian castor oil, like, I was generous. Put the Haitian castor oil in my hair and I braid it up, let it dry for 24 hours, air dry, and then the following day, I would take down the braids and do corals and throw on my wigs. And I was looking fabulous with my wigs. I did not care. I was wigging it out. Um, when I did go to Paris, I did not do wig. I did braids because I was not, I'm not, I'm very lazy when it comes to, like when I do protective style, I don't expect to be styling what's already not my natural hair. So... I'm not about to do that on vacation. It breaks. Call it a day. But <laughs> if I'm not on vacation, like travel somewhere, I'm okay with the wigs. I mean, I'd rather a shake and go because these lace front um, human hair is, is work. I might as well do my own hair sometimes. But I wanted to, you know, keep up the fab. So <laughs> that's what I did. I got the mannequin head and I was going in you know with the wigs and that's what I've been doing today is literally my first day rocking my natural hair um it's shrunken but you guys do know that shrinkage just help so yeah my hair shrunk it's, it's shrunken it's a shrunken wash and go but it's beautifully shrunken and what did I use I use what line extreme that $3 gel yeah $3 gel that's what I threw in did a little bit of finger coil a little bit of shingling and then I let it air dry so but I love it I love 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 um, I'm rocking my hair out 
for like maybe the next two, three days, but I'm definitely about to tuck it away because I just started my health journey to get, you know, heal myself inside so it could bloom on the outside. I'm going to tuck my hair back away, go back to my deep condition, leave in Haitian castor oil and wigs. Or if I decide to do braids, whichever, until I get my hair where I need it to be and my health where I need it to be. So that's what it is dealing with anemia and what's been going on with my health. Early satiety is going to have to be a part two video because I did not even realize that the anemia one was going to be this long, the discussion on anemia. So early satiety, I will make it a part two and I will release it immediately. I'm getting these out the way. And if you have any questions about dealing with anemia and, you know, the signs and symptoms of it, comment below or DM me. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for dealing with early satiety.